Okay, quick quiz. What do a cup of coffee, a mug of green tea, a cola, and an energy drink have in common? They're all favorites of this guy? No. Probably. But also, they each contain caffeine. Confusion about an ingredient that's as common as, well, a coffee bean has created a lot of buzz lately about caffeine. While caffeine occurs naturally in more than 60 plants, it can also be added as an ingredient. But caffeine is caffeine. And whether it comes from a natural source, like coffee, or it's man-made, like in some colas or energy drinks, it has the same properties. Caffeine has been enjoyed safely for centuries in every culture around the world. In the U.S. alone, 85% of Americans consume caffeine daily. That's right. And how are they consuming it? 64% of caffeine intake is from coffee, 17% from tea, 17% from cola, and 2% from energy drinks. Caffeine's effects have been studied for decades, and its safety is well documented, some even pointing to health benefits. For instance, it improves mental alertness and the ability to perform cognitive tasks. That doesn't mean tea drinkers are morphing into everyday Einsteins. Just for that short period of time after drinking coffee or tea, performing boring tasks like paying your bills is easier to stay focused on. And with its slightly bitter taste, it's often added to foods and drinks to deliver just the right taste profile. For some people, too much caffeine can make it hard to fall asleep. Still, others can savor an espresso well past the witching hour and log off as soon as their head hits the pillow. It's mostly a matter of moderating consumption and self-regulating as necessary. The world's most influential food agencies say 400 milligrams of caffeine daily poses no health risks for healthy adults. The average American actually consumes less, under 300 milligrams a day. What does 300 milligrams look like? Well, that's about three eight-ounce cups of homebrew coffee, or about four eight-ounce energy drinks, or about six eight-ounce cups of black tea, or about six 12 diet cola beverages. Remember to count any caffeine-containing medications in your total caffeine intake. Certain subpopulations like pregnant women should talk with their doctor or healthcare professional about their caffeine intake. Some women's health authorities suggest this group consume 200 milligrams of caffeine or less a day. These consumption guidelines are of course just guidelines. Individual effects from caffeine vary and depend on a number of things, like body weight, lifestyle, and personal sensitivities. Caffeine is caffeine, common as a coffee bean, safe for consumption. Those are the facts, the real buzz about caffeine.